I think it's really important. Obviously, like we only get one planet and we only get one environment. So it kind of baffles me that people just like are throwing things away and not thinking about what the consequence is going to be. I love the idea of sustainability, you know, with having something that's, you know, incorporating uh, renewable energies and and not just being so wasteful with, with the things that we use. To me, it's it's really important to do green chemistry because we only have one earth and so we we really just just need to be wise stewards of that of, of the fact that that we don't have a lot of, of fresh water of, of the fact that that we we can't just continue to to degrade our planet we've been doing uh outreaches that involve water testing you know where you know what kind of water can we drink so we brought in some waters from the springs around our community some water from our aquaponics club that has you know fish and living organisms in there and then some water from like the taps that they drink out of and they get to test and see the differences between those waters and to understand like why water is really important and why you know where it's coming from one of the things that they really like is to make art with the leaves and with the petals with the flowers that's very popular we did it even in university and everybody everybody was just fun of it is actually taking some petals and some leaves and you put it in a, uh, in a cloth, a cotton. You put it and you make a shape, anything you like. When you fold it, you can smash it everywhere. It's, it's fun. Another thing that we've done is, for ourselves that we tried out, was borax soap and alum snowflake ornaments. It's just a basic um, precipitation experiment. We used uh, colored pipe cleaners and you just get a super saturated solution. If you let the pipe cleaners sit in the solution overnight, you'll get a really lovely crystal. So on campus, we're gonna be holding a uh, electronics waste recycling event. It's gonna be for like an Earth Day event. Um, we're using it on campus and, and we're gonna incorporate the whole community as well as the students on campus. So they can bring electronics um, to campus so we can recycle them and teach them the importance that you know some of the elements that are in electronics are not just elements that they're very precious very precious and we need to conserve them we have replaced acetone which we used to use to clean our glassware with isopropyl alcohol um, we've also replaced uh, our test tubes with micro teeter plates we have a bulletin board in the hallway of the department and it basically shows every month we can exchange the different 12 different principles of green chemistry that our general chemistry students can see, even if they're not chemistry majors, they're in there taking their intro to chemistry labs or general chemistry labs, and they're able to see that. We actually use the, the polypropylene cups that, that you actually see around here. And in those cups, we actually show the kids how, how those can, can actually be dissolved and how that's actually a lot more green than, than say, using uh, styrofoam cups. We're also, um doing an Easter egg hunt. We're going to put the 12 principles of green chemistry in Easter eggs for kids to find. So we're hoping to incorporate some green chemistry into that. And we're also going to put different elements into the Easter eggs and like a fun fact about each element. So then when the kids find it, they'll get like a little candy and then some information about chemistry. You know, it's fun to be green and it's fun to take care of the earth. And we, every, everything starts all with little steps. It takes time, but in the final step of that, it's just going to be amazing. So green chemistry.